Tile type selection. Please choose five different tile types. Those. 4x3. Confirm. Oh ho! Another contender for the title of Overboss. Your objective is to craft the deadliest, most powerful overworld in all of Arcadia. The more powerful you craft, the more points you'll get. Thanks, King Croak. That was a very good explanation. Draft one of the tile and token pairs available in the market on the left. Place the terrain tile on an open square on your board and then place your monster or mini boss token on a tile. Yes. Monsters and mini boss tokens must be placed on an open tile if one is available. Dungeon tiles can't hold tokens. If you draft a monster or mini boss with a dungeon tile, Tiny Bell, it will stand on the lair at the bottom of the island waiting for you to place it in an open tile as soon as you can. Unless you can't. Then you can't. <laughs> Crystals and portals, although are however always placed in your lair this is totally not a complicated tutorial to read crystals give you bonus points according to the tile types you have on your board blah 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 we just play okay market says i can either get the entrance to the graveyard and a skeleton the entrance to the dungeon and a vampire the, so the forest of doom and a harpy and this is the uh, evil circle of magic and the portal. Okay, then they have effects here that I can't really tell what they do because the tutorial didn't tell me that. Right, this is a portal. Portals are not worth any points. Once per turn, you may use a portal to reposition up to two monsters or mini bosses on your map. That sounds useful, but not as the first card. Each straight line, vertical or horizontal, of two, three or four of the same monster type is called a band. Bands are scored according to their size and music type. Metal wins. Matching monsters. Each monster that is placed on its matching terrain type is worth a point at the end of the game. And that would be an extra point because the skeleton does match. You see that with the symbol, right? Okay. That's what we started with as tile types. And mini bosses are worth two points if placed on a tile. They do not count towards bands of monsters. Though crystals are worth a point per terrain tile if they're crystals type on your. No, oh, that's not right. Yeah, okay. I guess this is easy, but just. They are throwing a lot of uh, stuff here. Let's start with the graveyard this year. Boom! Now you live here. Extra point! Now, the, the top two tiles move out of the market, the bottom two tiles move up, and then you draw two new tiles from somewhere. Crystals. Per terrain tile of that crystal's type on your map. Okay, that would be an extra point per cloud. And this a mouse over tooltip would would make this playable wouldn't it uh, graveyards base value between one and three plus two or five depending on how many graveyards on your map okay so for one graveyard I get zero points for two graveyards I get two points for three and then for four I get five okay so you want lots of graveyards and the clouds base value of seven all right so the base value is on the card two points plus two if it has a vampire on it and base value is not on all the cards it's not very hmm. okay so how do i decide what makes sense next If bordering water, I get an extra point for the mushrooms. Maximum of three points. Okay. So I could put them here and keep the harpy until uh, I place this.
So I would try to get more cloudy things on the right. A swamp thing here. Maybe a, around the graveyard here. Do I have to place the monster if I can? That's a problem, eh? Yeah, so we need to get a portal so we can move stuff around. And now the portal just vanished. <gasps> Does the portal allow me to move monsters? Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, perfect. We get we get this one. And we can have two crystals, right? That would count graveyards. Yeah. That's fine. And now we pick the graveyard in the portal and then we can move around the harpy. And get... Uh... Right, now we can... I can activate it. Once per turn. You live here. Yes. Oh. I think this is good. Yeah, that's fine. Yep. They move up. There's another skeleton. Um. Now that's a band. Oh, we can have a third crystal. I thought it was only two. Um, ah, these guys don't really fit. Those are dungeons. Uh, plus one for every different type of terrain that borders it. Well, we could place it here. Yeah, it is. It is. It's. Uh, it could have a sequel or a, um, a companion game where you actually play out the the overboss taking over the overworld. Uh, Yeah, but I think the the overly complex explanation in the beginning was not a good move. It, it's not that hard a game to play. Um, a mouse over on each card would have been better than the text in one seven page mini manual. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's not it's not your kind of your kind of game. It's it's like Dorf Romantic meets Dungeon Keeper. Uh, or yeah, something like that. <laughs> but it it lacks it lacks the the uh, the finesse of of both of those games. But I thought it was a neat little neat little thing, and it's a very thinky thinky kind of game, right? This would give me a point for each swamp. We want more swamps because if I understood this correctly. If I have another swamp here, that would be good. So I'm going to place. Now they don't want to be on the dungeons. I think this would be the best choice. I can place it here so we get um, different stuff around and we get an extra point for the swamp. Here. That's a witch. Yeah, perfect. We put that on top of the dungeon and put the witch in the swamp and then we're good. There you go. What, what else could I do? Oh, that's the portal activating. I could move the harpies now. Okay, fair enough. I forgot about the portal. That's each turn. Um, the vampires want to be in the castles, right? Yeah. But we could get a third. Wait, graveyards? Why is this only worth one? 
and this too. Oh, they have a varying base value. There you go. Yeah, and the fourth graveyard would put me at five points and I can put that here. And the mage goes into the circle. Nice. What do we get next? Ah, another swamp. Perfect. But we can't really put the harpy anywhere. Ooh, what the hell are you? You are, um, what are they called again? Mini bosses? It would be nice if they would somehow show how many, I mean, I've got four, I can count. I'm not sure if I lose points if I get uh, too many graveyards. I'm not sure if that's a problem. And this symbol is interesting. Um, base value of one. When placing a summoning circle on your map, you may immediately exchange either a token placed on top of it or a token bordering it with one from the market. Oh! That's what I skipped earlier. I want the mini boss. Um, but then we get less points for this one. And I also wanted a cloudy thingy. Uh, yeah, okay. But it's, it's easiest to place this. Place it here. <laughs> Right, a swamp with a portal or a swamp with a harpy that we can't really use. We get the swamp with the portal. Right, now that's good. I don't need to move anything. Why do I need to press end turn? not sure because I could have used no I don't know uh, a castle is worth two points and then we could place the the witch in here we don't have a vampire each cloud island loses one point for every non cloud island okay they end up worth nothing then I misread how that works. I still get two points from the crystal. On your map, right? That's <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's a very puzzly thing. I could have changed a cloud. Yeah, I'm going to play this. You may immediately exchange a token placed on top of it or take a token bordering it with one from the market. But first I need to place the witch. Oh, token is the, the little thingy here on the side ah yeah all right can't put them there i'm a boss monster Yeah. Oh, I still got six for the clouds. Why? Huh. And now? That's it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a very simple puzzle game. Um, not simple scoring, but yeah, okay. I was hoping for kind of 
more somehow. Just placing the tiles and scoring is, is not really a motivating thing, is it? I mean, it's 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 a five to ten minute game, so yeah, probably not much. It has. I mean, in the beginning, we could pick. Um, we could pick a bigger. Uh, Let's see. I'm going to go back and start it up again. I want to check something. Yeah, <laughs> that was fast. Well, fast is not bad, right? And long, long looking for at a game for an hour is not automatically good. If I look at a game for an hour, it, may, it could mean that it's not really clear what it's doing. So it has multiplayer, local, online, solo has a campaign. And we could get a bigger board and play with the boss. And there are command cards. Focus. Now, oh. when drafting this turn's tile and token set, you may take any tile and any token from the market. Score plus one for each type of monster mini boss on your map. Each mini boss is a unique type. So that's a different scoring system. Um, there's a campaign coming in the full game. There are other types of tiles now. And apparently there's something called crystals in the full game that you are able to spend on a, a sort of a progression power up. So there is a bit more in the full game. Um, I think in this case they could actually really advertise it more. Like other demos do that a lot, some too much. Um, but a little window popping up in the full game. Like thanks for playing in the full game, you'll find this and that. That's missing here. That wouldn't hurt. You know, you play the tutorial, you play your first map, and then you get your score, and then they tell you about the cool stuff that's still in the works, like the campaign and the crystal power-ups, or whatever that, that's going to be. That's a bit of a missed opportunity, opportunity, because I think that might just be cool. Having a little campaign gives you more purpose, more direction, and... Yeah. I'll, I'll click on uh, follow and see how that develops.